Hey, great risers, great risers, great risers. Great risers, great rising, y'all. Hey, it's Saturday, and it's Miss Vicky from the daycare talking about. I'd like to say yes. Let's have Miss let Miss Vicky do her thing. Thank you. 
Thanks, Miss Vicky. Five minutes already, child. This walk is almost over already, honey. Almost done. Almost done, y'all. Hey, that was Miss Vicky. Yeah. If you don't give your child the word yes, you can't expect them to use it. I know teenagers speaking to one another, they want that affirmative yes, because that's how they get into stuff. You know, or they have their little way of saying yes. But as these are little kids, and we have this chance now to instill things in them. Who do you say yes to? Mommy and Daddy. Can't go around saying yes to everybody. But if only people outside require a yes and Mommy and Daddy don't, they don't get the yes. Oh, I think that light is so bright for YouTube. My bad, YouTube people. Oh! Did I say hi to Diane, Canada, Mary, and the Jones? Ha ha ha! And everybody else watching. Hey! Hey! Facebook, YouTube. Ooh, Facebook! Y'all like, comment, share. Like, comment, share for your sister. And YouTube, y'all subscribe. I'm going to put the YouTube video up on Facebook. And ask y'all to subscribe to the Facebook. I mean to the YouTube. Oof, no sorry. Oh. Every time I take someone new on Facebook, they want it to be some kind of scammer, some kind of Bitcoin something. I am so sorry. But I be saying no. I would like to find people. And I know these people got like 5,000 10,000? I guess you don't know them. Are you just supposed to just like anybody? Are you supposed to like invite anybody to be your friend? I mean, I'm public. You can see me. The account is public. So, I don't, I ain't got to friend you for you to see me. See what I mean? So here we are, Whew. a whole week. Y'all, I gotta do two things. I was trying to ignore it. I was trying to ignore this light, and I was trying to ignore the fact that the fan is so far away, I don't feel it, but I can't ignore it anymore. I shunked. I will not ignore it anymore. All right, here we go. I'm telling you, I'm having the greatest time working out with them Asian ladies. All I have to do is hear the music. A lot of us don't know what a lot of us don't know about the Chinese people. They were they weren't oppressed. They weren't enslaved. They were oppressed under Chairman Mao. They couldn't read books. It was horrible. Going to history. 10 million starved by a dictator. By a dictator. He the one that sent 5,000 Chinese over to Vietnam to fight. So, I mean, they said the good things he did. What he stopped is one man having 10 wives, 10 concubines, and 200 children. Who is going to take care of those 200 children? He can't take care of all of them. That's overpopulation. That's what happened. That's what Mao came into. The way he handled it. He took all that stuff away. He took all that binding of the woman's foot. That's good stuff he took away. He basically said men and women are the same thing, are, are equal. That was good. Everything else was horrible, disgusting. Turn neighbors on top of neighbors. Just like it reminds me, 
what 45 did. Ratting on each other. Making one person the biggest one over a whole community. And then they go around ratting. It was just a, a, a frenzy. But I was saying that they were oppressed too. And one thing Mal said, it was written in Chen's book. He said, look at the American Negro. Negroes then. He said, look how talented they have become creative. They became from enslavement. So, from oppression, which is slavery, it's oppression, more, you know, op oppression more, like, this is oppression, and this all around it is enslavement. Uh, you gotta be oppressed to be enslaved. Okay, um, so he said great talent is gonna come out of China. Great, great talent when, when... China recovers, 10 million, 10 million, 10 million people starve. Um, then, sending them out to help others with wars because there's just so many, so many more, so many people. And, but what I'm trying to say is great talent did come out of it. So when I see those Chinese women, I hear, I just hear the music. I know the music right away. When I hear the music, I instantly start dancing. I like Chinese music. Not the, no, 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 no. That, I like that one. <laughs> that, I like. Like Gaga Star. <laughs> I like that. I like that. And now that I know how to do those stomach things, I get going. So I put that on, and now I'm up to two minutes, y'all. I looked at myself on video, and it looked like I haven't been doing anything for these past six months. Now we're into the seventh month. High five. High five. Um... I don't know, it doesn't look like, I feel stronger, I feel all these dents, I see the skin, I feel the muscles coming in, but every time I look at myself on the videos, um, I have to keep saying, don't pay the video any attention. <laughs> anyway. I just love, so I'd be going with those, with the, chi the, the um, Chinese instructors, I don't like them. I'm also sick of seeing blonde hair people. They seem to be so phony to me now. After Trump, I didn't mind seeing women with blonde hair, men with blonde hair. I know it was the blonde generation or the blonde revolution, but after 45, and I see what that blonde, it is, it's just like lies, lies, and lies, and lies, and lies. That now when I see a person with blonde hair, I don't believe you and I don't trust you. Because I can see the black at the root. I don't believe you and I don't trust you. I see your eyebrows are brown. I don't believe you and I don't trust you. You're fake, you're covering up something. And I see what you're covering up. You're covering up the fact that how much you hate and how insecure you are with yourself. That you have to become a Hitler's perfect Aryan race type hairstyle. You see, that's what I see as now. That's what I see blonde hair women as being. Hitler's perfect race. He said blonde hair, blue eyes. It's in all the books. Hitler didn't, didn't like me. So if you fashion yourself after that, 
then I don't like you and I believe you are. Every time around 45, everybody was a blonde, just phony, just fake, just disgusting. Hey, we're at our 15 minute point. You could order the first half of this walk has been brought to you by, I like to say yes. And we already saw Miss Vicky. You could order by Archway. <laughs> Amazon and Barnes and Noble. And I draw a blank on what, child? Mmm. Y'all drink a lot of water? Drink a lot of water, y'all. So yeah, I uh, I look at everything. I like Asian. They have I on on uh, Netflix. I go for the Asian movies. If I see a blonde pop up, I'm out. I'm out. That's what 45 did to me. All those blondes smiling to oh, we're the perfect race, and y'all are a bunch of low lives. So when I see you, I say to myself, you're faking, you're a phony. Because you're not a blonde, unless you go to the, <laughs> you're not the blonde that you think you are, okay? You're not the perfect race. You're pretending to be. So as you pretend, they, the perfect race, they say I'm an inferior race. So when you see that blonde hair person, just remember that. That perfect blonde hair person they said the person that they're looking at is inferior to them because they have blonde hair. See what I'm saying? So I, I, I be looking at you. So I spend a lot of time doing podcasts. And I'm so glad I see on YouTube that they got the YouTube now where you can just do the audio. You ain't got to see all them fake wigs. You ain't got to see all them fake fingernails. Whew, all them titties, 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 titties. Whew, now you can go audio. You can go audio. And so a lot of times, especially now I'm on Facebook because I go audio. I can't take all the fake leaves, all the fake eyelashes. Okay, I like Brittany because she does true crime and she shows you how to do makeup. And she has black hair. Her natural hair color. See, that's what it is. They don't want their natural hair color. They don't want the real them to be known. You know what I'm saying? They don't want the they don't want the black hair coming through. And the thing about I'm looking at the Asians. I mean, not the Asians, the Chinese, I mean, specific Chinese. I see it in some Japanese movies too with Japanese people, but they started dyeing their hair blonde. They're becoming blondes. And we already went through our blonde phase. Some of them still go through, I don't pay them no attention, because you can blonde the hair, but the skin stays the same. <laughs> so you ain't fooling nobody but yourself. It got to be a color scheme. Go ahead and get purple or pink or something. Stop playing with everybody. I think if I was ever to dye my hair, it would be like a purple. Just because I like the color. Not because I'm trying to be somebody I'm not. You know? So, yeah, I'm done. So, I just flip around. So, I'm more into Asian stuff. Um, I was into the African movies on Netflix. But all those lightning things that they have, where they lighten up their skin. I look at it and I want to throw up. I'm like, really? You really think that that lighter skin makes you look better than if you had stayed your natural, beautiful self? You really think now you look like mud? So I had to stop looking at the Nigerian movies 
Because now the main lead characters and who's ever important, they look like mud. Because they're using the, the lightness stuff. And everybody is in a phony ass wig. So I was like, I mean, I love the plots. I love seeing the cast, but then that just started nagging me and nagging me. So now they're going to ruin it for the Nigerian movies with the skin cream. Because now they lighten up their skin because if your skin is lighter, you're better. You see the phoniness? If your hair is blonde, you're better. <laughs> if the skin is light, you're better. Really? Ooh. Ten minutes and the walk is over, y'all. Whew. Yes. Seven days of exercise is down. Yes. So, I have to post the most recent um, videos from the Chinese uh, dancers and they show you how to crunch that stomach, honey. Standing up. Like I said, I hear that music. I mean, instantly. When I hear it, my body responds instantly to it. I mean, I don't know Chinese music enough to say, oh, I like this one specific music. Or I like that one specific music. I just have to go with what's being played in the video. You know, sometimes I wish they would just... And if ha, they're Chinese, if they did put who sung the song at the bottom... Like, I would know what they were writing. Um, but I do like them. Look at this balance. Look at this balance for a slow walker. You try it, you think it's so easy. Look at this beautiful balance. This is what's worth it. Waking up in the morning. Is that something? Totally in balance. Just strolling. And even doing this, this is the muscles you feel. Here's these muscles like this. And that's what you feel during the stroll. And it's just pulling it in and pulling it down. Pulling it in and pulling it down. And it's really awesome. So yeah, maybe today I'll put some more my Asian's stomach thing because it works. It works, honey. No bathroom problems there, honey. No bathroom problems. When you finish doing that stuff like that, honey, anything that's in them bowels is coming out. <laughs> Look at what those Chinese women are doing. Okay? If there's anything in those bowels, it's coming out. You know? That does it. It squeezed right in two. Unbelievable. And that music is going, and I jump up. And next thing I know, Two or three minutes, because I, I can dance like that to a song. I, I'm getting to the point, I can dance to the whole song. And anyway. Look at these babies. Yep. The blood is getting through. Look at that. And drink a lot of water, y'all. Drink a lot of water. My daughter bought me uh, Arizona tea the other day. And the gallon, oh, even seeing the gallon, I had to think back to when the last time we had it. And it has been well over five years since I've had any Arizona green tea. And then I had the Arizona green tea and I'm so used to drinking water that 
I didn't enjoy it. So now I got a gallon of tea I got to drink. Honestly, I'm just glad she bought it for me. She said, Mommy, all we, you know, all we drinking is water. All we drinking is water. I figured I'd try something different. I had coffee. She buys me a cup of coffee, and I drink off the cup of coffee for two days. First day, I just pour half a cup, and then I put half water. I told y'all a long time ago, when I started drinking water, I broke everything down by watering it down. And I'm still doing it. So if she gives me a little little coffee, that lasts me two days, two mornings. She gives a big coffee, that lasts me three to four days. I just pour it in and put water in it. Then if I don't drink it all, I'll save it for the afternoon, for about three-ish, about three-ish. I'll save it for the afternoon, and then I'll drink it. But see, when I go to the doctor, I can't explain coffee like that. I tried before. Do you drink coffee? Well, no, I drink more. Yes. That's the guy I was like. All right, fine. Then they come back and say, don't drink too much coffee. Don't, and I was like, but you didn't hear me. I, hey, thanks for coming for the walk. I was like, I didn't say it. I drank a whole cup of coffee. I was telling you, I go to buy this for me. I take half of it, and then I water down the rest of it. And then sometimes if I don't drink all that morning, that's what I have for the whole day. I go for the afternoon. Anyway. Oh, seven days a week, y'all. So, if y'all walk with me this week, you walk three hours. My pace is so slow down. Like I tell you, go out for balance. And balance is great. Okay. Speed your gut. Oh, did y'all see that video I put up of that belly dancer? And basically what she was saying was squeeze your gut, squeeze your gut. And I was like... That's when I started out on our walk. I was like, squeeze your gut, squeeze your gut. Anyway, let's do 15. Tuck in your elbow, squeeze your gut. But it's hot, y'all. If you don't squeeze your gut, you know. We'll do 15. Like I said, y'all, you know somebody who just want to see an old woman doing some kind of exercise, especially an old, old African-American woman or a brown woman, somebody with brown skin, waking up every day, doing an exercise, and I'll get them to jump on their bike. They can mute me, especially if they haven't been to the gym. They just, you just want to see somebody in motion while you're in motion. That I can give you. I think I got a good conversation, but maybe everybody don't feel like that. Um, but please like, comment, and share the video. Give it to your auntie. Give it to your uncle. Send them a link. Okay. Let's do the next song. Tuck in the elbow. 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. See, I think my itch is I like picking up stuff. And when I can't grab something and lift it up, I, I don't mean like I'm Wonder Woman. I don't mean like that. I'm just saying, when I can't, you know, lift something up, then I got issues with me. So that's why I do the weights. See, I do the weight on my arm.
Hey, this half hour is over with just that fast. I hope y'all feel as good as I do. Remember you to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so when I come on Monday morning, we don't, we don't walk on Sundays. But we'll be back on Monday. Hey, thanks, Facebook, YouTube. See you Monday.